Hi, Zach Pater here, River Valley Marine, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota. Wanted to give you a quick video walk around today of this Carver 42 aft cabin. Uh, the later dates, known as a 42 motor yacht. Good looking boat, lots of boat for the money. It uh, certainly has a, a, just a great look to it. Lots of cool characteristics to it. We're going to take a closer look at it. Seller is certainly motivated to sell and has a very good looking boat. Few things you kind of notice on the outside of the 42 aft is that big hard top across the back. It does have a nice swim platform. Full canvas enclosure package. That forward facing arch up top kind of gives it a nice crisp look. Good sharp image. Nice big bow rails going all the way around the outside of the boat. And we'll take a closer look, but it's got nice walk arounds and it's got side wing doors as well. Big windows flood light into the cabin. We'll see that when we get inside the boat. You got a windlass anchor up front, your fender holders up front, spotlight, all your basics that way. There is a bow sun pad that can be mounted up on the front as well. You have forward window coverings. Just a lot of cool little features on this boat. It may be an older boat, but uh, Carver has done a great job. So let's take a closer look inside. As you step on board the boat, you got the nice wing doors off to the sides there, entering into this massive cockpit seating area. Nice little uh, storage areas back here. It's got all the cockpit carpeting. You do have molded steps that lead up to the bridge. Another side wing door over here. Work your way onto the bridge. You've got nice handrails going up. Again, all the lay down flooring. Centrally located helm station, gives good visibility. Work your way forward, you've got a large forward seat. And it's fully, uh, you can walk around the whole cockpit area here, which is nice. Work your way back, you've got companion seating. Very good looking helm seat. Just a good looking dash. You also notice the full canvas enclosure. All seems to be in nice shape overall. You have screens in the front, can easily be rolled up. Kind of a good looking package there. Electronics are somewhat dated, other than the Simrad, that was relatively new. And just a good looking setup. So let's go take a look in the cabin. Walking down into the cabin, you've got these nice double wide doors. We work our way inside and that nice big beam is certainly noticeable. You've got L-shape seating off to the starboard side. Side seating over here to the port side. And look at all the windows. They are just beautiful and big. Central vacuum unit is located right there underneath the big bar area. You'll notice this boat does not have the lower helm, so it really kind of opens up that interior a lot. Again, a lot of counter space, lots of storage. Beautiful seating, nice blinds and drapes, TV. Even look at like the little detail stuff. You know, Carver's always done a great job when it comes to their fit and finish. But you even look at like the headliner and the nice wood accents going all the way down. Those are really cool. That really gives it a good sharp look. Keep working our way forward and go down the steps and we're gonna enter where the galley is and the dinette. They did a very good job with kind of making it look very sharp. Uh, the colors are all very neutral, which is nice. That table can go down and make that into an additional sleeping area there. Flip around the other way, you've got your refrigerator, dual stainless sinks, your electric cooktop, convection microwave, again, nice storage in the galley area. There is on the back side a coffee maker, just a good looking galley for a, uh, like I said, a little bit older boat, but it's a, it's a big boat. Working our way into the forward cabin. You do have a small pantry off to the side. And then look at the size of this. This is really good looking. Lots of headroom. Nice big bed. Side seat or a step to get onto the bed. Forward air units. Lots of nice uh, space up top just for 
Sutton, whatever it may be. There's additional storage back behind that curtain. You have a skylight above you. And again, that headliner with the wood trim, trim pieces worked all the way through. Gives it a good look. Before we travel to the back, let's take a look at the forward head, um, commonly known as a day head. But uh, this one's very sizable. Stainless sink, nice storage. You've got electric flush. You also have a shower, separate shower, which is very nice. All fiberglass molded, glass doors. Really makes it a usable forward head in this 42 Carver. All right, we're working our way back through. We are gonna go into the mid cabin. Go through the salon. And just off over here to the uh, port side, there are bifolding doors to close this off. And from there, you would enter the master stateroom. And it is very sharp looking. The woodwork is beautiful. The storage is nicely done. The size of the mid cabin bed take a look over on this side you'll see you've got the nice big closet spaces just really really sharp looking setup in the back of this boat work our way back over and look at like the uh, port side you've actually got I guess what they would call like a make ready station or an area to do your makeup and things to that effect more storage and again just very very well done the way they accented this boat and of course, back here you have got your own head. Again, electric flush, stainless sink, some storage up above. And then you've got the glass doors going into the shower back there. So that there is just a real quick video walkthrough of this 42 Carver Aft Cabin. A boat that I'm quite confident should uh, certainly impress in size. And I think the dollars make a lot of sense. Um, with that being said, I'd be glad to answer any questions you have or set up a time to show you the boat. My name again, Zach Pater here at River Valley Marine, River Valley Power and Sport in Red Wing, Minnesota, and I appreciate you taking a few minutes to view our video.